Okay, let's add shallow nesting to our config slash routes file here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do resources churches and normally would have expected this to just say resources services, but that's where we wanna add the shallow, the nesting first. So that's just like this. And then we wanna make it shallow nesting. So we go like that. That simple right there is going to allow us to have the nested routes. So if we look at what routes our system makes available, I'm gonna pause for a second. All right, now I, that I've fixed my version issues, you can see that we have our church routes just like we uh, would expect, slash churches, slash ID for being able to get update or delete those churches, the ability to add a, a, modify a church, add a church, or, or list particular churches or create a new church. Those are all there from this resources churches line right here. Nothing new. We've got some new paths, churches path, new church path, edit church path, and church path. Where the interesting thing comes from is when we look at our services. So if we just go up a little bit more, we still have our, our shallow routes for our services slash services ID when we know our church we have our show, update, uh, and destroy. But when we uh, don't know our service, that's when we get our longer path, just like we saw earlier, slash churches, colon church ID, slash services, slash new as an example. All right? And notice the path, instead of being new service, like this was new church, it's new church service because we're gonna create a specific service associated with the particular church. And this path is actually going to expect two param uh, one parameter, that being the church. Whereas new church down here doesn't expect any parameters because uh, we don't know anything about the church that we're creating yet. And similarly for listing churches, it's church services, and we have that longer URL. And then of course we have all of our uh, rides and users fr from before. And so that shallow gives us both those types of URLs, these, these nested and these shallowly nested with the slightly different paths here to get that to work. And so that's how Rails provides those nested routes for us.